Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about missing numbers in subtraction. Now, you probably have already watched the video on missing numbers in addition, and we learned for addition, we do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction, to find the answer. I wonder how that applies when we're looking at subtraction. Let's take a look. So here we have a missing, uh, what is this called, remember? A minuend, right? The first one is a minuend. Minus 12 equals 43. Well, what we know about this A is it's going to have to be a larger number than 12 and 43. So that might give you a hint. When we have a missing minuend, we use the opposite of subtraction, which is addition, to find the answer. So let's do it. We're going to add 43 and 12. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And again, we always check. We put it back in. 55 minus 12. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4. And looky, looky, it checks out. So the good news is it follows the same pattern. When you have a missing minuend in subtraction, do the opposite, addition to find it. But what about if you're missing the subtrahend? Hmm, let's take a look. Does this still apply if we have a missing subtrahend? Remember, subtrahend is the one that, the amount that we are subtracting from our minuend. Well, let's think this through. 59 minus some number is going to give us 14. So it doesn't really make sense that we would add these numbers. That'll give us a bigger number, and that's not going to work. So when we have a missing subtrahend, we need to do more subtraction to find the answer. Watch. 59 minus 14. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. We're going to put this back into our equation to see if it works. 59 minus 45. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. And look, that works perfectly. So the rule is if we are solving for a missing subtrahend, that second number, we actually subtract. We do more of the same. I'll say it again. If we're looking for a missing subtrahend, we subtract to find the answer. Take a look at these two examples. Here we have a missing minuend. Good job. That means we do what to find the answer? We do the opposite. We add to find the answer. Here we go. 43 plus 25. And you might remember this from you know, subtraction having that built-in answer checker, we add up, that's really all we're doing here. So we have 68, but we're gonna check it. 68 minus 25 is 43. It checks out. So again, missing minuend, do the opposite, add. Let's head over here. We have a missing subtrahend. When we have a missing subtrahend, subtrahend, Subtract. So we're going to subtract to find the answer. 102 minus 36. Here we go. We have 66 as an answer. Let's go ahead and put that back in. 102 minus 66. And we get 36 as an answer. It is correct. And what do we do here? We had a missing subtrahend, so we subtracted to find the answer. So here's the deal with subtraction. You just can't do one automatic thing. You've got to look close and see what's missing. Is it a missing minuend? Then you add. If it's a missing subtrahend, then you subtract. So you've got a little bit of investigative work to do. But I know you've got this. Make sure you try our practice problems so you can do lots of these. Make sure you have it really good. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.